MGN Broadcasting presents Here Comes Santa Claus, Here Comes Santa Claus, right down the war path. That's right, tired of the suppressiveness of Christmas domination over Hanukkah, Jews have taken a blow at the very heart of Christmas, the North Pole. The Jews have invaded much of the Northern Hemisphere, cutting down all Christmas trees in their sight. But fear not, the North Poleans are fighting back fiercely. Santa has switched from toy production to war production. Sorry, little Billy, no Santa visit for you this year. Santa is busy fighting for his freedom. Santa's toy production jobs have been outsourced to companies in Indonesia, China, and Japan. North Korea has been sadly left out. Meanwhile, UFO sightings have increased. If you see any of these crafts flying over, call your local friendly police department. That's right. Is that the communist Santa in a suit of red? Will the aliens show their faces again? Will you get a puppy for Christmas? Find out now on something else. Why, hello there, little boy. Are you excited to see Santa? Yes, Mr. Elf. I've been waiting all year. Well, I hope you know what you want. Oh, he sure does. Yeah, my whole damn wallet. <laughs> well, come on up. <laughs> Why, Mr. Elf, where's Santa? Well, due to the ongoing conflict in the North Pole against the Jews and the North Poleans, Santa's been outsourced. Wait a minute, you little elf fairy thing. Did, did you say outsourced? <laughs> yes, I did. Peggy, let's go. I already bought him his damn Nintendo Wii Wii. He can deal. Daddy, a Wii? Just, just talk to Santa. If you're a little boy, Press one. If you're a little girl, press two. If you are Jewish, get off your chair, go spin your dreidel, and get the hell out of my face, you little. Please hold for. Santos Claus. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, Christmas, Mary, little uh, boy. Oh, Santa, I'm so excited. I've been a good boy all year. And what name you have? My name is Samson. Samson? I have two TV boxes you make. Uh, tell me, Mr. Sun, may I interest you in present? Yes, Mr. Santa. In the whole wide world, I would like a puppy. Ah, yes. Make great soup. I recommend Retriever and Stars. But tell me, maybe instead of puppy, you like this offer? You've been randomly selected uh, for an unbelievable deal on a cell phone of your a choice. A cell phone? Yes, we have many brands of your liking. I want a razor. A uh, razor? Um, maybe instead you like brand new Crazer phone with all the latest Bluetooth technology. I want a razor. Uh, sir, please uh, lower tone. Listen, Santa. I said I wanted a puppy, and you couldn't give it to me. And then you said I had to get a cell phone, and I want a razor, and you can't give me that. Are you the real Santa? Uh, you have been randomly selected. Screw you, Santa! Wait, 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 wait! <gasps> Don't you want to take a picture with Santa? That's not Santa, that's a phone. And you're just a short guy who can't get a job. <gasps> what? Well, whatever can I got in a little Samson? Who knows? Damn automated operators. He probably pushed you. Hey kids, let me tell you about college gal. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long time, kids, so I hope you're ready for the new college guy with new action front front house and ethnic sorority slut. Hey, oh, her clothes there. It's party time, kids, at STG. It's a fly frat party for you and me. With real hot chicks on the balcony, you can bet college guy will spread his seed. With a doll to the left and a doll to the right, you can rock that body all day and all night. Look at those abs! Disco ball is not included, but if the doll gets pregnant, you're recruited. New college guy has a big surprise. You can have him now for $4.99. Let's get funky, kids. Let's get funky with a college guy. Let's get funky for $4.99. Break it down! College guy! Break it down! College guy! Break it down, 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 down! Yeah, break it down! This year, the Network Family Channel has brand new shows and movies on the 95 Days it's of the Christmas. The 95 Days of Christmas on the Network Family Starting Channel. Starting Wednesday at 6. Molly Rose Thomason. 
in her most daring role yet. He's killing you, Martha. You need to leave tonight. I can't. He sees me when I'm sleeping. <laughs> A woman caught between life and living. Why don't you love me anymore? I do. With my fist. Molly Rose Thomason. Janice Clemens. Aaron Fry has Tiny Tim. I have cancer. And Devin Arthur in the Lifetime original movie, My Yuletide Dignity. We steal movies from other networks to give you 95 days of Christmas. And on Thursday at 9. It's Home Alone 8, Rise of the Mud King. The Poughkeepsie Post deplores, as good as an octacle can get. Hello? Oh, hey, Mom. No, all my roommates already left. I'll be home in a couple of days. Watch Home Alone 8, Thursday at 9 on the Network Family Channel. We don't channel. have any dignity. Friday at 8. When the Jerk Brothers face Moody and Gene, it looks like Christmas is in trouble. Oh, no. Ha! You guys didn't stand a chance. Looks like the orphan's toys are all ours. <laughs> <laughs> now Christmas is ruined forever. Those orphans believed in us. <laughs> What they need is a Christmas miracle. Mind if we help? In the form of all pro women's volleyball champions, Grace Stryker and Ali Zeal. Let's get those toys back. Go, Gene and Moody. As the mayor of Winchester, I present the Jerk Brothers with a check for all the orphans' toys. Not so fast. We challenge you to a rematch. The sparks fly when these misfits take the court. The Boston Seagull Rage. If you like volleyball and Christmas, you'll love this movie. Whoa, these boys don't know what they got themselves into. You can do it, Gene! Women take no prisoners. Oh, no. Watch Strawberry Sue and the Sunshine Patrol save Christmas Friday at 8 on the Network Family Channel. Watch all our shows during the Network Family Channel's 95 Days of Christmas. That's 10 more days of fun filled holiday programming than last That's year. 10 more days than last year on the Network Family Channel. This is a S-E-N-N -N special report with Wolf Blizzard. Hello, I'm Wolf Blizzard. Tonight, grim news in the North Pole. Santa Claus is missing. It seems that the beloved children's icon has gone into hiding after being driven from a spacious home by Jewish freedom fighters. He is last seen meeting with President Bush in hopes of coming to some sort of agreement for a ceasefire. For more information, we go to our Claus expert, Snow Miser. Mr. Miser? Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Wolf. It's a pleasure to be here. You can call me Snow. I'd rather not. Mr. Miser, I'd like to start out with the most recent development in the story. It seems Jewish freedom fighters forced Santa out of his home there this morning. What's your take on this? Well, the latest I've heard is that they used a six-point star formation to infiltrate the workshop. You see, this type of force was necessary after the rather uh, chilly reception they received. About that. What type of resistance did we see coming out of Santa's workshop? I still got it. Everything I touch turns to snow. I know. I'm just saying. Anyway, where were we? 
we were discussing the North Pole Ah, uh, yes. It seems that the Jewish forces caught them off guard. Soldiers have reported that the elves had no weapons and that the ones that weren't killed instantly resorted to throwing stuffed bears, dogs, and cats. They say it was quite the, uh, catastrophe. Well, General Ezekiel Goldberg is quoted as saying, Oy vey, this is one of the worst massacres I've ever seen. It was like Toys R Us had exploded. There was bloody toys and tiny bodies everywhere. I get some, uh, new coffee? No. But I froze my- No. Do you want me to- No. Getting back to the topic at hand, Mr. Freeze, what are your thoughts on- Wait, did you just call me Mr. Freeze? I'm sorry, I must have. That's it. I knew you couldn't be professional. All the bull I had to deal with in my career. A great loud man like this attached to my leg. Get the out of my way. I'll freeze your ass. See you later. Moving on. We have two guests with us tonight that may know more about Santa than anyone in the entire world. I'd like to welcome to the show Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Hermie the Misfit Dentist. Hermie, Rudolph, welcome to the show. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. I'd like to start off with asking you how you came to know Santa. Hermie? Well, Wolf, I've known Santa since I was a young elf. He always taught me to be whatever you want to be and follow your dreams. So I became a dentist even when it was frowned upon for an elf to become a dentist. <laughs> right. Rudolph, in your best-selling autobiography, Red Nose, White Nose, you detail your earlier years with Santa. That's right, Wolf. That son of a bitch ruined my life. Rudolph, quit being such a silly reindeer. Santa never ruined anyone's life. It's not his fault that you got a drug problem. Rudolph, in your book you throw accusations of how Santa drove you to snort peppermint. How did this come to be? The man used me. He thought I was a freak, and then one foggy Christmas Eve he came to me and said, and I quote, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight, or else I'll cut off your vajingle. End of quote. I should have kicked that douchebag right in the jolly fat ass. But how did that drive you to do drugs? Wolf, the next year it wasn't foggy. And you think that big red prick came to see me? No. Well, it led me to do drugs and uh, whoring myself out. I still can't look at horses. That's ridiculous. Santa didn't use you because he heard what you'd been doing with Yukon Cornelius and Bumbles. Santa taught me from a very young age some really good advice, and that is never trust a woman. I can't help it if... You're nothing but a dirty tooth puller? I, the entire dental community resents that comment, and you're a senseless... Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm afraid I'm going to have to interrupt. We received word that Jewish Special Force teams have located Santa. We now go live to the North Pole, where Commander Zach Weinstein is with his strike team. We're here live with Lord Santa Claus. That doesn't mean fun anymore. Oh my god! Santa Claus just shot himself in the face, Wolf! Santa Claus is dead. No more Christmas, no more toys for little boys. Oh, what are we gonna do? The tragedy is all, Wolf. What's that over in the sky? Oh my god, a UFO! It's a ghost, it's a ghost. Oh my god! Run! Run! Get out of here! Ah! This is the game where you try to get back from school without waking daddy. But land on a noise and it could be a bottle to your head. Uh oh. You woke daddy. Land on any other space and daddy will scream alcohol soaked slurs at you. I beat you mom because you cried! <laughs> You're the reason I hate my life! Don't wake daddy. Alcoholic Stepfather Edition can be found at your local liquor store. Baby! <laughs> 
But don't take my word for it. Just listen to this satisfied customer. I like sending them to friends and family. But you may be asking yourself, what can I do with so many free fireworks? Well, you should be saying, what can't I do with so many free fireworks? The answer is nothing. Say happy birthday to grandma. Divorce your wife. Terminate your pregnancy. Get a Christmas bonus. Yeah. Tell Aunt Edna what you think of her shitty fruit cake. Wake up the kids. Folks, you'd be the crazy one if you passed up holiday deals like this. So come on down to Crazy Chris's Fireworks Factory and have a great old time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, burn, baby, burn. I like the snow, I like sledding down the bunkers and chilling with my ho ho hoes. You know I'm down with Sandy cause he gives me toys, but not the kind of toys that were meant for boys. I'm a fan of eggnog. Does it f*** you up? Nah, that's the kind your mama whips up. We be the candy canes cause we taste so sweet, but you better watch your back. Cause we'll beat your ass for all meat. Big boy with your nickel and dime, you can fill my stocking anytime. That's right. Screw you, motherfuckers. I like the snow. I like banging sexy fellas and chilling with my ho ho hoes. That's a huge packet, son. What you got inside? I'd like to hop on your sled, go for a ride. We can frolic in the cold, fill a bitch of snowman. I'll give you a peek into my winter wonderland. Oh, yeah. Screw you, motherfuckers. I like the snow. I like sledding down the bunkers and chilling with my ho ho hoes. Yeah. Wicked, wicked, wicked word. Cool. I'm calling the cops. Merry Christmas. My family once came from Britain to make America their own. But lo and behold, as the stories told, the new land was not alone. The natives were astounded, they could not believe their eyes. The white men saw a chance to take and fed them all lies. We are gods. Lovely Lady Liberty killed Indians like manatees with our father. America was founded by the English, but the natives were here way before that. The natives had their sticks, the British were just dicks, so the natives got killed in the big attacks. They simply could not win, their view on science was too dim. So if you weren't a Brit, or just Caucasian, then you jumped right in. The Great American Slaughterhouse, the Great American Slaughterhouse. American pride because of genocide. So America was established, the natives stripped of their land. Soon colonies rose near the seas and robbed tribes right where they stand. But there was a glimmer of hope to brighten up their day. The white folk gave them Oklahoma and they cried the whole damn way. Lovely Lady Liberty killed Indians like manatees without a bother or thought at all. The Great American Slaughterhouse, the Great American Slaughterhouse. Glad you survived now, get out of our lives. 
fast forward to the present, the 21st century. The whites are getting pushed out by Latinos in poverty. I want that job. While whites fight for paychecks, the natives still have lives. Now they run casinos and see cash before their eyes. Lovely lady liberty killed Indians like manatees without a mother or thought at all. My great American slaughterhouse, my great American slaughterhouse, my great American slaughterhouse, the great American slaughterhouse. God, before I go to sleep, I just want to thank you for mommy and Daddy, who's on permanent vacation, and for Casey Kasem for having the best Top 40 radio show ever. Amen. Guess what, Charles? I pulled some strings. We're going to see Casey Kasem. No way! <laughs> Okay, Charles, I talked to Casey Kasem's manager. His booth is right around that corner. It's gonna be so cool! Let's go! We're up to our long distance dedication. Casey Kasem! God damn it. You're not Casey Kasem. You're Santa Claus. <laughs> MGN Broadcasting presents a temporary solution. Even though Santa has been taken hostage by aliens, a peace treaty has been signed between the Jews and North Poleans, where Hanukkah and Christmas will switch off and be celebrated every other year. But the government is still warning against those tricky, tricky Jews. Secret reports may indicate that they're still working on the atomic dreidel. Until then, peace and Jesus' birthday cake for all. Happy holidays from MGN Broadcasting and something else. Yo. Nobody loves me anymore. What is this world it's coming to? Are you what are you thinking? Are you ever seen a person die? That wasn't part of the sketch. Oh, what's the blooper reel? It wasn't part of the sketch. <laughs> you said it all wrong. You pissed everyone off. You had to do another take. You're gonna need to do it better next time. Cause you'll mess this one up. And it's no good. The so line. we're putting it at the end of the show where all the sh this shit -ish goes. It's all going there. At the end. Blooper reel, baby. It's blooper reel. Blooper reel. I don't want to say. It's the blooper I can't I can't hear you. You ruined the take. You ruined the take. the jokes. You didn't read the script. I think this has turned into a blooper itself. Play that guitar. Play it loud. Oh, we're supposed to go that way, but that's okay. We're putting it in the blooper reel. Oh, damn it all to hell. Yeah. You know, I like it when you get to. all. Hey, did he I say that? I didn't have to say it. was just cool. sloppy. Sometimes we all make mistakes. He could have used it. Just got to forgive and forget. Come on. <laughs> Mess up that lie one more time for me. Hey, it's wrong to live in the past. Living in the past is wrong. <laughs> wrong to live in the past. <laughs> this is LWW. Oh holding it down and keeping it real. SCTV. Catch us next month. Peace. Are you still filming? It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's shoot my mouth.